sub YouTube. Um, got a request to see what my setup is for uh, recording or streaming Xbox. Um, currently, I've got an AverMedia HD DVR card in my, you know, capture card in my uh, computer uh, in my desktop down there. Um, I have uh, an HDMI splitter, two to one, or one to two, I mean. Um, going, we got the input, input from the Xbox, output to the card, and then this is a HDMI to DVI uh, cable because my monitors, um, I play on a regular like computer monitor, right? And the monitor is not full, t uh, you know, full 1080p. Oops, sorry there. Uh, it's not full 1080p, so it doesn't have an HDMI port, so I can't just run straight HDMI. Um, also, the Aver Media card only supports stereo, but really, that's all you really need for YouTube and streaming. You're not going to stream 5.1. Uh, it was kind of annoying, though, to not be able to play, um, five, you know, use, use my Triton headphones here, which are 5.1, um, you know, at first, but I figured out a way around it. So, let's see here if I can pull, pull this away from the wall here. Um, in order to do this, you will need an Xbox 360 that has an HDMI um, port on it so I believe it's either a Falcon or Jasper board if you have the old or white one but the Slim's got it so um, basically if you can see back there yeah so I got the HDMI port in and then I have the AV cable and on the end of the AV cable I have um, you know red red white which I'm then running to the dongle cable of the um, Aver Media card and then I have the optical going straight straight to my Triton headset and then um, the video is getting recorded you know it's being split and then sent to the Aver Media card um, this splitter was ended, ended up being the cheapest that I could find on Amazon um, I was a little disappointed to find out that it came with like a Chinese plug or a European plug and I had to use it. It came with the US adapter but still it was kind of annoying and not and I don't know if I really trust it. Um, I would recommend the Seawall uh, direct one um, as, as the, I did try that one but I ended up returning it because I couldn't get sound through. I figured out the reason you can't get sound um, when I'm using, if I was just using straight DVI, it wouldn't show up if I if I had the Xbox settings set to HDMI. Um, it would show up weird on uh, my recording software, and it just didn't work. Um, so you'd have to set your Xbox settings. Uh, in the console that you know in the dashboard to DVI however when it's sending out a DVI signal it's not sending out audio so that's no good so then I wasn't I wasn't able to record any audio so I ended up returning the Seawall Direct uh, HDMI splitter thinking it was bad tried out a different splitter same story then finally figured out what it was um, so but if you want to just do straight HD, if you have a full HDMI monitor or TV, then you know just the splitter will work for for stereo sound. And you know if you only have stereo headphones, it's not a big deal. It'll work for stereo sound and video um, to your card to the capture card. If not, then uh, you can do what I did and buy this little dongle cable for your audio, and then um, just run the red and white to the dongle cable out of the Aver Media card. So in addition, uh, I've all all the splitters that I've tried so far, I've tried three different splitters, the Sewell Direct, um, some other one, and then this one. They don't have any lag. I was concerned about that. Um, I have not been able to detect any lag, and sometimes I play on five sensitivity 
used to play on 6 sensitivity. I've gone all the way up to 10 sensitivity and messed around to try to see if I could detect some lag. Couldn't detect any lag. Um, so uh, this is Halo sensitivity, of course. Um, but yeah, so no lag. Um, if you're trying to play directly from, um, you know, through the card, there is lag that way. That's why I have the splitter. So you need the splitter because um, you can't just play directly through the card. But if you have the splitter, there's no lag. So anyway, that's uh, all I got to say about the setup. I'll show you the um, specifics of my recording program and my dashboard settings next.